Hey guys, it's Lori. Today I'm going shopping and I thought I would share that with you guys. I'm gonna do some shopping for my mother-in-law because she's finally coming home tomorrow. If you don't know, she has had serious back problems and she had to have a couple of major surgeries plus some other procedures. She has been, uh, she's been away from home and she's a couple hours away for six months. So she's finally gonna be coming home tomorrow. She did give me a grocery list so that I can go and pick some things up for her. She's mainly gonna be in a wheelchair. So, you know, going to the store right away, especially with everything that's going on with the coronavirus and all the good stuff like that, um, the quarantine, uh, social distancing, that's what I was trying to think of. <sighs> But yeah, with the social distancing going on right now, uh, it's not a good idea for her to be out in a crowd at all. Like, it's not like it's going to be super crowded. I don't think it will be. It wasn't last time I was there. And it's going to be, by the time I get there, it's going to be about 1030 in the morning. I was going to go earlier, but I thought, you know, that might be a little more crowded because I think that's when people kind of line up to go in. So... Anyways, at least that's what I've heard. I don't know. It could be totally different today than it was yesterday. So who knows? But yeah, I've got her list right here. As she thinks of more things to put on the list, she's been texting me for the last couple of days. I did bring some sanitizing wipes just in case I need those for anything. I have this bag right here because I'm actually going to pick up a few things for us as well. Honestly, I think there's only like four things, maybe five things. I don't really remember on the list for us, but I figured while I was in there, I might as well pick them up. And so I'm just going to put my stuff in this bag just to kind of keep it separate. Yesterday, yesterday, I spent like hours and hours <laughs> getting out my sewing machine that I've never used before in my life. I've never used uh, a sewing machine at ever. So I taught myself how to use it. I'm not going to say I'm good at it because I am not. <laughs> I'm not good at it. But I did manage to make myself a mask. So. <laughs> so I have a mask to wear. It's got a coffee filter in it. I don't like the crinkly stuff. But you know what though? You can definitely see lots and lots of flaws in this thing. Because, well, it's the first time I've ever done it. But like some of the, <laughs> some of the stitches are like this. Yeah, but you know what? I'm all right with it. I am. Oh, and another thing yesterday, last night, I got kind of like fidgety. I was sitting down watching some YouTube and I was like, just or not last night, the night before, I'm sorry. And I was wanting to just do something. I don't know. Sometimes I get fidgety. I just want to fidget. So I decided I was going to get out my little nail tool and start doing, start going at it on my nails. Only that's as far as I got because the next day, which was yesterday, I started messing around with the sewing machine and never went back to doing my nails. So wait till you see what my nails look like right now. <laughs> look at that. Oh man. I hope nobody pays any attention to my fingernails. If they do, they're too close to me. Right. It's 1045 AM right now. And this place is packed. Back there, there was a lady blowing her nose while she was walking into the store. It's like, I don't know. Maybe that's an overreaction, but this place is packed. I'm disappointed. I really am. I was going to do a Walmart pickup order for my mother-in-law, but it's too late. I can't. I can't do it or she's not going to get her groceries on time and when you do it and you have to do it two or three days out and and, I, and don't get me wrong I understand there's only so much they can do I'm not I'm not griping about their pickup service I'm grateful for it but if you place it a couple days out you're taking a chance that some of your stuff's going to be out of stock by the time they get to your day you know what I mean? So I don't want to do that for her. And plus, it, like I said, I won't get it by tomorrow. This was, she said several times, I'm coming home next week. I'm coming home next week. And then she never does. Well, this time she really is. So it's kind of a last minute thing. But, well, I guess I'll put my mask on and 
my big girl panties and you know all the things <laughs> all right okay guys see my mask doesn't look awful does it i think it looks kind of okay as long as you don't look too close but like i said about my nails if you can see the flaws you're too close to me just an fyi i was burning up in there the mask is rather warm but you know i've heard that complaint before about masks and it's true it was pretty warm I was burning up. I wanted to take my coat off, but I had with the mask on, I didn't want to knock my barrette out because it was kind of holding the top string in place. And I had my purse crossbody and it's like, just deal with it. I could not wait to get out here and get my coat off in the mask. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm going to show you what I got for myself at Walmart. And I did get more than four or five things. You probably saw that coming, right? <laughs> I might do like a quick scan over what I got for my mother-in-law. I don't know yet. I don't think you guys are really going to care that much, honestly. She just got like a gallon of milk, some, some, uh, I'll just tell you, some Sunny Delight, some, she doesn't eat super healthy. Sorry if you're watching, but it's true. And I would tell you, I would tell you that. So I don't feel bad saying it on video. Anyways, uh, yeah. Um, a few banquet pot pies. They didn't have the banquet mac and cheese that she wanted, so I got her, I think it was like a little thing, a couple little things of Stouffer's mac and cheese, just the individual ones. And other than that, she got like hot dogs, smoked sausage. Um, I got her some ketchup and mustard. I got her, I have a list. I might as well just look at that because I got everything on my list. Some of the stuff wasn't exactly the brand she wanted, but hey. <laughs> I got her a wireless doorbell and it was only 12 bucks. It was like 11 something. And to go with it, I got her a package of batteries as well. It takes double A's. So I got a pack of batteries. Don't know if she has any batteries or not. So the wireless doorbell is sort of like if she needs something and she's in her, her bedrooms, like a back bedroom, they always call it the back bedroom and she'll probably have her door closed often. And if she's in there and Brennan's upstairs, he'll never hear her yell. She can use Alexa. Sorry if I woke yours up. <laughs> but anyways, they do have that. So that's going to be something that's going to be available for her to use to get a hold of him. Or she can even call somebody on it. She can call me, John. She can call a lot of people on it. Um, but the doorbell is really, she just wants it for, she's going to put the, the the button part with her and then the speaker part will be with Brendan and if she needs something she's gonna ring the doorbell so <laughs> that's what that's for okay um I she asked for a bag of popcorn she wanted one of those great big plastic bags full of popcorn and they usually have those but they didn't have any so she had told John that she wanted popcorn and I guess I just we just assumed that that was what she wanted she didn't want microwave popcorn. She wanted the already popped popcorn. So I ended up getting her a bag of those um, popcorn puff things. You know what I mean? And I also got her a bag of Balrix popcorn. Just regular popcorn. So that was the only kind of other kind of popcorns that I could find. So that's what I got her. Um, I got her some ham from the deli, some provolone cheese from the deli, some bologna, some hot dogs, a pack of ground beef. Two packs, actually. Um, smoked sausage. I may have already said some of this stuff. <laughs> she told me to grab some chicken wings for Brendan and she said just ask him what kind he wanted. He wanted boneless so I got him two different kinds of boneless. Buffalo and barbecue. Uh, I got her some pork and beans. She wanted pork and beans. Frosted mini wheats. I got her two boxes of those because that's what she asked me to get. So she wanted um, cookies or snowballs or something like that. Cookies or snack cakes. I got her snowballs because I know she loves those. Uh, tater tots. Yeah. Did I say hamburger and hot dog buns? Tomato juice, prunes. She asked me to get her some fresh prunes. They don't have any fresh prunes, they have plums. That's not the same thing though, is it? I don't think so. <laughs> so I got her a container of prunes from over by like where the raisins and stuff are. I hope that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got for, for us. Now some of this stuff is not specifically for me and John, but I did manage to get some Easter clearance, which I was pretty happy about because some of it was 90% off. 
they had some stuff that was 75% and some stuff was 90% off. So that was really awesome. I did get another loaf of bread. I got the wheat bread. Um, Hayden eats that and he's really been eating a lot of bread lately. I got Chase asked for generic Oreos is what he said he wanted. So this is what he likes. <laughs> he loves these cookies. So I, I did get him a pack of those. And hold on. I also got Chase, Josh, Brendan, and Hayden each a package of these Reese's Pieces in the carrot thingy. These ended up being 25 cents a piece. So those in with his cookies. I got myself a gallon of milk as well, and I'm also out of bleach. So I got myself some bleach. I got us another package of pepperoni, and I also got some, just some ground chuck for us. And I also picked up this because John's never had it. I've never had it either, and I'm not real interested in having it, but he's never had the grass-fed ground beef. And he asked, what's, you know, what's the difference? What's so much better? Does it taste different? I don't know. It's expensive, so I don't buy it. But I did go ahead and buy a package so that he can try it. And I don't know if I'll try it or not. I don't really care about it that much, to be honest with you. Let me stick this down here. I got John some green apples. Okay, I picked up some of this. Is this the, this is the caramel. The Tarani's Caramel Sugar Free because I really like this stuff in my Dalgona coffee. I also got the hazelnut. I tried to get that last time at the Walmart uh, pickup with my pickup order, but they, they were out of stock. So I also got some of this floral wire and this is only like less like 97 cents a piece, I believe. Got two of those and I'm gonna use those for making some more masks. I'm gonna try and put them in for the nose thing. And I got some of this um, floral tape to put around the ends of it so it doesn't poke through the fabric. I picked this up for Hayden. His birthday is in just a few days and Brendan's is actually the day before Hayden's. So their birthdays are both coming up in just a very few days, three, four, five days. I'm not sure what the date is. If I knew what the date was, I'd tell you how many days away it is. But he likes Rubik's Cubes and stuff, so I thought he might like this. It was like four something, just under $5. So just something a little fun for him to go with the rest of his little gifts that we got for him. And I also picked up some sunflower kernels and some raisins. The reason I picked these up is Hayden had like one of those little snack pack things. Um, it's like one of those little snack to go things that had like little beef jerky things in it, some sunflower seeds and some raisins. And I said, you know, this is, a t this stuff's actually really good on salad. And he's like, Ooh, I'd like to try that. So that's what I got those for. So he can try that on a salad. And plus he just likes to eat raisins. I thought so. they might stay fresher if I got them in the bag. So anyway, here's some more of these. <laughs> like I said, I got one for each of my boys. Some shaving cream. This is in a different type can, so I don't know if it's the same. I'm gonna guess it probably is, but this is only like, it's less than a dollar, 97 cents, 98 cents, something like that. But yeah, I asked John last night, Are you, how are you doing on shaving cream? And he's like, I'm not really sure. <laughs> so I thought, okay, let me just grab one. I got two Daisy Cottage cheese, and I also picked up a big refill of the spray and wash. I am completely out of that. Of course I got, I dripped coffee all down the front of me the other day, and I didn't have any spray and wash, so I tried to get it out, and it didn't come out, so. I didn't throw it in the dryer, so hopefully I didn't set the stain. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm worse than a kid. I'm always getting something down the front of me. So here's some more clearance stuff. The other clearance thing was those little Reese piece, Reese pieces things. I got these big bags of candy. There's 50 pieces, Starburst and Skittles. I got three bags of this. Some of it's gonna be for my candy dish and some of it I'm gonna give to the boys. And it was $1.37, I believe. Yeah, it was $1.37. For these so I also picked up these little pails with the handles they're little tin pails they're in the Easter department but these little decorations on them I don't think they're necessarily just Easter the other ones that they had were they had like said happy Easter on it with some flowers and another one had like Easter eggs on it two different Easter egg designs but this one I don't think screams Easter at all so I picked these up and I got all of this design that they had. So I got five of these pails and they were 12 cents. 
so yeah I just went ahead and got all that they had left of these and it's gonna be used in my craft room I'm thinking get some hooks hang them up paint brushes you know stuff it's for storage for my craft room that's why I got them I might not even paint them or anything so that depends, depends. maybe I will but yeah, and I did get three bags of this candy. Did I tell you that? I might have. I don't remember. But that's everything, guys. That's all that I got today. And now I'm going to head down to my mother-in-law's and haul all of her stuff. Well, first I'm going to stop at my house, take all my stuff inside. I'll probably need to walk Winston really quick. Then I'm going to go to my mother-in-law's and take all her stuff in and clean her carpets in her dining room and her bedroom. And see if anything else needs cleaned real quick while I'm there too. Brennan does a pretty good job keeping the house clean. So I might not have too much work to do. Okay. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.